this lecture, I'm going to show how to calculate the Lorentz curve and the Gini coefficient. First of all, get data. You can see that the data is not arranged in any particular order. I just do some data down. Next, arrange the data from the lowest income earner to the highest income earner. Find the total amount of income in the economy. In this case, there are five people who make up the economy. Then find the percent each income earner earns. So here you can see that Bob makes 3%, Kathy makes 14%, and you can see the rest of the income earners by percent. Next, you take what each income earner earns then we calculate the cumulative percent of income. So 3 plus 14 was 17%, 17 plus 18 was 35%, and the cumulative percent of earnings adds up to 100%. Next, plot the data. The blue curve is the Lorenz curve. So you can see from this curve that 20% of the people in this economy, or in this case, one person, makes 3% of the income. Likewise, you can see that 20% of the people in this economy make 40% of the income. Next step is to find the area under the Lorenz curve. I divide the area under the blue line or the Lorenz curve into rectangles. Here, I have four unequal rectangles. Next, I find the area of each rectangle by taking the base, which is always 0.2 or 20%, times the height. Finally, I now have the area of each of the right triangles to calculate, and that total area equals the area of the rectangles, which is 0.23, plus the area of the right triangles, of which there are five of them, which adds up to 0 0.1, so the total area adds up to 0 0.33. Next, in order to find the green area, I subtract the area under the Lorenz curve, which is this area down here, from 0 0.5, which would be the area of this right triangle. I have now taken 0.5 minus 0.33 for 0.17. This is the area between perfect equality and the Lorentz curve, or the area covered in green. The Gini coefficient is found by taking the ratio of the area that I just calculated by the area of the right triangle. One could simply multiply by 2, but if I take the ratio of the area divide by 0.5, I have the Gini coefficient equals 0.34. The Gini coefficient shows income disparity. A high Gini coefficient shows that wealth is concentrated, and a low Gini coefficient shows a more equitable distribution. Here I have a few selected countries with their Gini coefficients. Notice that the United States it's about the wealth is concentrated in the United States among a few, and in a country such as Nambia, um, it's even a higher concentration. This concludes my PowerPoint presentation. I thank you for listening to my show.